Darker Than Black, episode 25, the final episode. So Kirihara's two partners are still looking for a way inside. I never mentioned them in my summary. They're not that important. I don't think, anyway. <laughs> this is pretty much turning into an all-out war. Contractors against everyone else. The Solar Maximum is reaching its final stage, which means they have to activate the Saturn's rings if they're gonna accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. So Hay has finally confronted Amber, and he's like, oh, is it now I understand what your resistance thing was all about. Have you been doing this since South America? And she recalls the old times when they used to, you know, follow orders without asking any questions, acting rationally. She explains that everyone started talking to each other and um, discussing the plans and realizing that this didn't really make sense. And Bai was one of them. Hayes like, what? Bai was part of this? Amber explains that Bai was really sad about how um, Hay continued going along with the syndicate even though he wasn't a contractor because he just wanted to stay by her and it was sort of, you know, she was getting sad by that he wasn't living his life as a human. Why didn't you tell me this before? And she points out that he probably wouldn't have um, really comprehended the situation unless it was in this particular, like, all these circumstances happened. Like, he would have tried to leave the syndicate, and then there would have been trouble, and blah blah blah. Amber hints to the fact that Bi um, Hay is going to be able to see Bai if he um, takes care of the gate. So apparently Bai has been inside Hay this whole time? I don't know if it's metaphorically or literally. Hay doesn't think it's, um, it's morally right to repeat what happened in South America just for the sake of seeing by. But Amber points out that, you know, it's also gonna kill all the contractors. They're beginning the countdown, it's only 20 seconds! Okay, so they activated Saturn rings, and at the same time, Amber kind of, like, thrust the meteor fragment at Hay. We don't really know what's gonna happen. Everything's engulfed in light. Blah. Okay, so we've got a young Hay, I believe, wandering in the darkness slash lightness. And he looks up and it's the real night sky with the moon and all that. Bai is there and she's like, I know you never wanted to kill anyone. You've just been doing it all this time so that you can stay with me. And Huang is there and Mao is there and they're all like, oh, oh, and November is there. Oh, everybody's, everybody's there talking to him. There's that woman. Oh, all the dead people are there. <laughs> They're like, if you can't decide between being a human and being a contractor, just be both. Oh, and Nick is there. That's the one. Amber's there too. And she warns Hay that um, if you really decide to do this, if you decide to continue being a human slash contractor, then the syndicate is going to come after you. Oh, and then they hug and smooch, and it's just, it's all so emotional. And we heard Bai's real name, it's Ching. And he says goodbye to everyone, and he's swept away. And Yin is calling out to him, so he, so he pushes forward. Oh, Amber sent them back in time before the activation of Saturn rings. And the doctor tries to activate the rings, but it doesn't work. There's a malfunction! <laughs> Somehow they figured out what they were doing in a couple of seconds. What Hay did is that he kind of like rerouted everything so that it like doesn't work anymore with his electric powers. The doctor's like, oh, oh well, whatever, <laughs> he's totally over it. And the police force guy is like going around shooting people. Like, what? <laughs> he was working for the syndicate the whole time. And Kirihara was there the whole time and she's like, oh, is this, this what's going on? I get it. Like, you're the one who instigated all this. There was no threat. You just wanted to kill all the contractors. The whole time Kirihara was recording the conversation. So, um, she has all the proof she needs that this guy's evil, and of course he just attacks her. Guess who just rescued her? It was Hay. And he goes running off, and she's like, No! Lee, come back! And he, he's like, Oh, oh no, I'm not Lee anymore. Hey, bye! And he leaves. So she knew? She figured it out? When? Okay, and now it's the ending credits, and as it's happening, there are scenes that are playing. And, um... The police are more equipped to handle contractors now because they're becoming more commonplace. The syndicate has apparently disappeared. You know, we see Guy and we see July and April and, um, you know, uh, the ramen 
owners. <laughs> Everyone's getting their own little wrap-up scene. Kirihara goes to look for, um, Hay, but, um, apparently he was deported. But then she sees him, and she runs to him! But when she goes around the corner, he's gone. But Yin showed a moment of being there, and, uh, Mao as well. Mao, who is a, a cat only now. And so now the series is over, and... Meh. I'm not so impressed. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I felt like the end of that was kind of rushed. Everyone wants to know what I'm going to do with season two, but I haven't decided yet. I have to sit with this ending a little more and uh, figure out how I feel. Right now I don't love it, but maybe I'll feel differently later. Don't give me any suggestions for new shows to watch in this video. I'll make a video specifically asking for that later. But first there will be a series review of Darker Than Black, and um, I'll see you for that. Bye!